Hi, John. Hi there. How are you? Good, good, good. Could you please elaborate on one specific topic that uh, I would like to ask you about? It's uh, rolling spot effects and other CFDs. What's the real difference? Because sometimes people get confused. Sure. And uh, even myself. Could you please uh, explain to all of us what is the real difference? How we should uh, deal with that? What terminology should we use? Absolutely. So, as you may well know, the OTC market over the counter is where rolling spot effects is classified as. Essentially, it's a CFD. Uh, is typically derived from the CME futures contract, and that's how market makers around the world create a product, a derivative from that futures contract, which it turns into a CFD by being a rolling spot contract, which means unless you close the position, it will continue to trade continuously. I see. So it's kind of non-expirable asset or trading instrument. So it doesn't have a... It's a rolling spot contract, which means it will continue to trade until you decide to close that position with the market case. Now, there is other CFDs in specifically in our product offering. For example, CFDs on commodities, CFDs on various asset classes. Uh, Let's this, say crypto CFD, for example, equity indices CFD, which is a very popular product within our solution. And that's where the contract for difference or the CFD that we all know as is one of the most popular derivatives in the marketplace today. It has gained the popularity to the extent that it's one of the most important systemic products in the financial markets. Even the many systematic funds, they started using, uh, instead of futures, they started trading CFDs, right? We've seen all types of businesses coming to the CFD space, whether it's institutional or retail brokerage or reinit, all of them are participating and therefore we see a lot of volume in this space. You know, John, uh, sometimes I think if uh, you do, if you trade because of the speculation, so you just try to make a profit uh, from the particular trade when you buy and sell, so basically, you don't need to trade even the securities or futures because uh, uh, it doesn't give you a core idea behind that. I mean, I mean, if you want to become an investor and uh, you would like to hold your seat on the position, of course, uh, from the security point of view, it's better if you deal with the uh, securities broker and you buy those stocks and you become kind of shareholder of that company, right? Yes. But if you want to trade CFDs, you buy in the morning, you sell in the evening, or you bought during the day and you sold it during the evening session, then for you, it doesn't matter, right? Basically, think of it as the capital efficiency of trading a CFD versus a futures contract. Whereas, just to bring it into perspective, a futures contract on a currency like the euro dollar will probably charge you initial margin somewhere around five to seven thousand dollars that will always be seven thousand dollars whereas if you come to the fx industry the cfd space you may be looking at a one thousand plus so the capital efficiency is there and therefore we continue to see more inflow of trading activity primarily for that reason and specifically for those guys who do a lot of intraday activity and basically john moreover it's uh, also very important, the simplicity of the crypto, oh, sorry, just CFD product. Absolutely. Uh, because when you trade futures, you have to always think about the expiry date. And uh, you have to take this into account because it might be very crucial to your position. You run into the complexities of that expiry date, of the liquidity aspect as you get near the expiry date, you may not be able to have enough liquidity or depending on the product that you're trading, God forbid, but it has happened, you may end up taking delivery of a particular commodity. And that's not a pleasant experience. I still believe FX, rolling spot, and CFDs is the way forward. It's a way to be able to diversify portfolios, yet it's one of the most 
traded products nowadays within financial work. So that's why we can say that CFD now already became as a class, as an independent class of trading instruments because under the uh, CFD uh, we can outline that there are different markets such as uh, rolling spot effects, equity indices, crypto CFD, stocks, commodities and so on, right? So it's, it, it became the, the, the one of the major class of trading instruments. I couldn't agree more. Okay, thank you very much, John. Thank you, guys. Thank you for watching us. And uh, please, we are welcoming for any of your questions.